Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's MSc Respiratory Clinical Science Virtual Open Day. Thank you for joining us. My name is Himani Patni and I'm a Respiratory Clinical Science course alumna and your chair this afternoon. We hope this session will address those course specific questions you may have and will help you to gain an insight into what it is really like to study on one of our master's program. I'm delighted to welcome today's speakers, Dr. Vita Tissouza Tchera, who will provide you with a summary of our MSc Respiratory Clinical Science program, and there will be a Q&A session for the second part of the event. This session is being recorded and will be made available on our website following today's event. Now, to introduce you to our speaker, we have Dr. Vita D'Souza Takshera, an Associate Professor, Director of Respiratory Clinical Science MSc program, Tutor for the Postgraduate Taught Degrees and the Deputy Postgraduate Research Tutor at the UCL Division of Medicine. His roles include designing and leading MSc Respiratory Clinical Science program. He teaches immunology, lung biology, and respiratory di diseases across the core modules, as well as overseeing research projects. Over to you, Vito. Excellent. Thank you very much, Imani, for the, for the nice introduction. As Imani said, I'm Dr. Vito Teixeira. I'm the director of this Respiratory Clinical Science program. I'm also the postgraduate taught degrees tutor within the Division of Medicine. And it's my huge pleasure to welcome all of you to this Respiratory Clinical Science MSc Open Session. So I will give you a brief description about UCL, about the program, and after you will have time to ask me all the questions that, um, that you have. Okay, so let me share my um, screen. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Let me see. Okay, great, excellent. So, sorry, it's not so. Great, so let me start um, describing why you should study at UCL. So we are one of the best universities in the world. We, we were rated ninth in the QS old university ranking last year. So we are also top 10 globally in 10 different subject areas. We are six for, for medicine. We are the top university in London and the second in the UK for research power. The majority of our research is graded world leading or international excellent. So last year, we were considered the UK University of the Year by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. We are seven in the UK's People and Planet University League. So very important, we are the fourth highest rated university in Europe for employability. And our UCL graduates earn a premium compared with other institutions. So we are also uh, the second most cited university in, Euro in Europe. So... Um, UCL is composed by 11 faculties. So um, one of these faculties is the Faculty of Medical Science that includes six different divisions, as you can see here. So our Respiratory Clinical Science program is part of the Division of Medicine. So what is our aim within the Divisions of, of Medicine? So we want to educate, of course, to train and inspire yourselves, the next generation of scientists and doctors, we want to be at the international forefront of the biomedical research, from the research, the lab bench research to bedside, to patients. We also want to attract and keep and develop the most gift biomedical research and teachers at all levels. We have a very good collaboration with our UCL partner hospitals, including the UCL uh, H, UCL Hospital, and the Royal Free Hospital. Um, and together with these partners, we want to develop and deliver outstanding patient care. So our research aims is to, of course, understand the basis of disease. We want to create better diagnostics. We want to develop and identify better treatments for disease with, of course, an emphasis on experimental medicine. So all of you, the students, will benefit from productive collaborations between scientists and clinical researchers, and exposure to different aspects of clinical and research activities. 
So let's start describing our respiratory clinical science program and how I used to do always do in my lectures. I would like to start with a question. So why is it important to study respiratory medicine? So unfortunately, more than 1 billion people suffers from a, a, a type of respiratory disease on, on condition. And very sadly, in the UK, every five minutes, a person dies with a respiratory related problem. So... Of course, you know, we we want to educate, to train, to inspire, you know, the the next generation of scientists in this specific field, which is a very important field. Um, we want to try to identify and develop new diagnostic treatments. We want to understand better the pathogenesis of the respiratory, the different respiratory diseases. And of course, we want to be able to develop new treatments and cure these diseases. So this program will give you an excellent overview of the scientific and clinical basis of respiratory medicine. You will be taught by old world experts in the in this um, in this field uh, that are part of the UCL division of medicine, our UCL respiratory medicine medicine department, and our. Um, um, clinical partners, the UCLH, Thorax, uh, Thoracic Medicine Department, and the Royal Free Hospital Respiratory De Department. So as I said before, you have access to world experts in, re in respiratory medicine research. You, you will discuss clinical case studies with our respiratory clinicians, and we'll, uh, you'll have access and you'll be taught by experts in the pharmaceutical field. Um, we are proud to have innovative teaching and you'll have access to our wonderful UCL respiratory laboratories. So let me talk about the um, program structure. So in term one is the term that I call the scientific term. You, you will be taught um, about different multisolar process. Um, so that includes the principles of immunology, principles of inflammation, tissue repair and regeneration and statistical methods in research. So you have the pictures here of your model leads. In term two is our strong um, clinical uh, part of the program. You'll um, I'm leading three out of four modules in term two, and you will be taught about principles of respiratory biology, including um, lung physiology. Um, you have respiratory disease and conditions, and the third model that is the drug discovery in respiratory medicine. The fourth module, uh, the fourth thought module in term two is a practical laboratory research skills in which you'll spend eight weeks in the lab learning basic uh, um, lab techniques. In term three, usually after Easter, you'll start your research project. So your research project, I'm, I'm the model lead as well, but could be a lab-based project or a clinical-based project. So let me give you a summary of the program in term one. So in the principles of immunology, inflammation and tissue repair and regeneration modules, you will learn about the complexity of these multicellular process and multi-organ aspects of this biological process, including inflammation, infection, immunology, tissue repair and tissue regeneration in health and respiratory and other diseases. Of course, this is very important because several of these um, biological processes are dysregulated in respiratory disease. So it's very important that you understand the scientific basis of the respiratory diseases. Um, you also learn um, STATS, the um, statistical, statistical methods in research module, in which you'll be introduced to mathematical formals, techniques that are used in statistical analysis of raw research data and raw clinical data, including clinical trials. So uh, it's very important for you to understand um, the basics of uh, statistical analysis because you will use these tests for your lab-based or clinical-based project. You will also uh, be taught how to analyze clinical trials data. This is very important. We, we, we've been through a pandemic and you heard a lot of, in the news, a lot of data from clinical trials and it's important to understand how this data is analyzed. You will also be, um, you also be taught about basic bioinformatica now. So you'll learn how to analyze genome-wide association studies data and gene expression, including RNA sequencing data. So in term two, you'll have um, the, the modules that are more related to clinical content. You have the principle of respiratory biology. So you'll learn about anatomy, 
um, the cellular and molecular mechanisms and physiology of the respiratory system. You'll spend a lot of time, several tutorials at the UCLH Lung Physiology team in which you will learn how to perform pulmonary function tests, uh, for example, spirometry or gas transfer. You will learn how to do mechanical ventilation and you also um, learn how to analyze uh, how to do uh, sleep studies. Um, the second module is called Respiratory Disease and Conditions. Uh, in this module, we'll learn about the key scientific and clinical aspects of a multitude of respiratory diseases, including IPF, uh, lung cancer, COPD, asthma, ILD, pneumonia, bronchiotasis, TB, alpha-1 antitrypsin, pediatric respiratory disease, and sleep apnea. So this model includes um, a traditional lecture, but also a clinical case studies for each specific respiratory disease. Um, you also attend in this module uh, diagnostic clinical sessions with patients at UCLH or Royal Free um, Hospital. Finally, you have a drug discovery in respiratory medicine. Um, in this module, I always invite uh, pharmaceutical experts that will teach you the scientific and pharmacological basis for the discovery. So how to target specific molecules, a specific genes, specific biological process to develop, of course, novel therapeutic agents in the respiratory diseases. The last module of term two is the practical laboratory research skills module. Uh, as I said before, you will spend a lot of time in the wet lab, in the laboratory, learning how to do, for example, uh, DNA uh, extraction or RNA and protein, Western blot, um, flow cytometry, uh, imaging, um, uh, confocal and so on. You also learn about lab health and safety, experimental design and research ethics. So this module can prepare you for the your research project if you do a lab-based research project or for you know a next job that you will have a future job that you'll have in your in your career. So this program is delivered by the UCL Respiratory Medicine Department. So we have three different centers within our department, the Lungs for Living Research Center, which my lab is part of this, of this center. So we have several different groups in, in, this, in this center, including a lung cancer group, airway stem cells and tissue repair group, lung regeneration, lung development group, and the clinical trials group. So we do different type of research um, very much related to lung cancer and lung regeneration. Uh, the second center of this department is Center for Inflammation and Tissue Repair. Uh, so in this case, we we uh, we research a lot of inflammatory and infectious respiratory diseases, including IPF, COPD, ILD, pneumonia, and so on. Finally, the Center for Respiratory Bi Biology, um, the research is based to understand uh, antitrypsin deficiency and other serpinopathies. So in term three, you will do a lab or a clinical based research project um, in the UCL respiratory medicine labs or in the UCL hospital or Royal Free Hospital. So we offer a multitude of um, lab or clinical based projects in different types of topics, including lung cancer, IPF, COPD, asthma, ILD, pneumonia, tuberculosis, lung fetal development, sleep apnea, and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So we try to cover every type of respiratory disease and you'll be able to do a research project in, this, um, in these diseases. So let me talk about um, the innovative learning. So we have our traditional classroom and that you have lectures. So you will be, will be teach face-to-face -face, and sometimes we ask you to do some homework. Um, but we also have what we call the flipped classroom. So the flipped classroom, we give you homework and this homework is based on transfer skills that you can use for your next job. For example, if we ask you to do an oral presentation individually or in group about a specific topic, or if we'll ask you to do, to read and interpret uh, a scientific paper. So you'll present a journal uh, club. So in the classroom, you, you have this problem-based groups tutorials in which you will be able to present this, this type of work. 
You also have plenty of clinical tutorials at UCLH and Royal Free Hospital. So you'll have access to the lung physiology and sleep disorders units. As I said before, you'll learn how to do pulmonary function tests and uh, sleep studies. You'll also attend several types of um, respiratory disease diagnostic sessions. So you'll sit with Professor Sam James, for example, for lung cancer, Professor Jeremy Brown for pneumonia, Professor Joe Porto for LD, Professor K. Roy for asthma or Swapna Mandal for um, sleep apnea, Professor um, Mark Lee for TB, all of them are old experts in their uh, respective fields. You also observed respiratory procedures, including bronchoscopies. Um, you also learn about mechanical ventilation, that this, this session will be delivered by the UCLH Education Center. And every week from term two until the end of your program, you will attend or you can attend UCLH respiratory multidisciplinary teams meetings. You also spend around 60 to 18 hours in our uh, amazing respiratory labs during term two. So um, to perform some lab based tutorials. So in this case, you will learn how to identify and staining, for example, airway epithelial cells, including basal cells, goblet cells, and club cells, and so on. You will have also have a cell biology tutorial in which, for example, you treat different types of cells, fibroblasts, and so on with GGF beta, and understanding how the this molecule can change morphology and and viability of these cells. So very interesting tutorials that you'll that you'll do in the labs in term two. So where is this program taught? So we have different uh, campus. So you'll have special in term one, uh, several modules that will be taught at Royal Free Campus. Um, at UCL Medical School, and this is located in Amsterdam. So the term two. Uh, one module in term one and the all modules in term two will be delivered at the Bloomsbury campus in Candom here. Uh, it, this is what we call the UCL main campus. The UCLH in which you'll attend all the clinical tutorials um, are uh, is located nearby. You can see here this big green tower here in the main campus and UCL respiratory medicine departments two minutes away from the UCLH. So this is to give you an idea about um, the destinations of our graduates, so from our alumni. So we have um, 12 students so far that joined academia or biomedical research. So they, they went back to their country and become lecturers or they are doing uh, PhD students or working as a research assistant. We have some students that uh, went to do graduate medicine or uh, or they are they are enrolled in a very prestigious program at NHS called the Scientific Scientist Training Program. So we have five students and three students who went to work in pharmaceutical or biotech companies. Of course, this program will also allow you to apply for jobs in public health or clinical trials or, for example, charities, or if you'd like to be involved in scientific publishing or scientific science communication, this program will give you the, the skills to apply for these type of jobs. So finally, uh, I'd like to say that um, you can use uh, this website in the right to apply to the program. In the web page in the left, you can have a, a very good description of the program as well. So please use these links to see a description of the program or to apply for the program. And I'm more than happy to answer any of the questions that you have at this point. Thank you very much. And thank you for attending this session. Thank you, Rita, for this very informative session. We will now start with our Q&A session. So please add any your questions in the Q&A box. Thank you.
I'll give you a few minutes to ask any questions. And meanwhile, I'll take this time to describe my experience as a student. Okay, we have a question. So we have a question from Aisha. Uh, how much is the fees for this course? Is there any funding opportunity? So <laughs> finance is not my forte, but yeah. Uh... For UK students, yeah, I have the website here with me. So for UK students, it's £17,300. For international students, it's £34,400. So this is very, very similar to other programs within uh, UCL. Um, funding opportunities, yes. So we offer uh, three bursaries. Um, I think uh, within the Division of Medicine, uh, £5,000 each. Uh, but they are... <clears throat> different types of uh, scholarships that are available within UCL. So um so you know if if you if you send me an email I can share I can my mail is v.teixeira at ucla.ac.uk so I can add it to the to the um, to the chat and you can drop me an email and I will share with you different scholarships that we have available at UCL. Thank you very much, Aisha, for your question. Also, That's great, Aisha. Yeah, so we, we had previous, uh, previous, uh, we have uh, our first year student rep was from um, Bangladesh. She was a clinician as well, and she's now working um, at, at, at NHS. She's now a clinician at an NHS. So, we have a very, um, very mixed cohort of students. So we have uh, uh, basic scientists. We have Imani, for example. He's a clean. She's a clinician from 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 India who joined us uh, last year. Uh, we had uh, people from respiratory uh, care or respiratory therapy. Um, biomedical um, scientists as well. So you know a very diverse um cohort of students which is really amazing because it's uh, you know it's very important that we have this mixed cohort and uh, that they can help each other as well how competitive is the course um so this is in terms of um um requirements of entry So two one. Yeah. So uh, students who graduate from medicine have a direct entry. Okay, the other students, uh, the minimum entry is two point one. If you are an overseas student, you'll be asked to do a Yelts test as well, an English test. Thank you so much for your questions. Do we have any more questions? Don't be shy. Ask all the questions that you have. Of course, you can always contact me, okay? So, um, you know, I put my mail on the chat, so... Yeah, there is another question there. So, yeah, but patients don't work with uh, this. Sorry, the students don't work with patients, of course, but they will observe specific, um, as I said before, specific uh, clinical sessions. So they will sit 
in diagnostic sessions with patients, of course, they will see how PFTs are performed in patients and themselves. So they will practice the pulmonary function tests in their co with, with your colleagues, of course, if you give consent. Um, and um, you will learn, you know, a lot of different um, respiratory uh, clinical clinical tests. Um, you will observe bronchoscopy with patients, but you won't work. So you you will interact with patients, but you you are not uh, you know a medical student. If if you know what I mean. Thank you, Catherine, for your question. Any further questions about the, the modules, the content? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question, Aisha. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, so we have at the moment three alumni doing a PhD with us um, from different years. Um, and yeah, there is, of course, the chance we want to keep uh, track and keep the best students. Um, so uh, if you are interested to follow up with a PhD, it's something that, of course, you can discuss with your uh, master project supervisor and see if there is any opportunities to follow up with a PhD. But again, yeah, three alumni are with us. Um, we have other, other alumni doing PhDs uh, elsewhere. One of them is at the Creek, for example, which is one of the best institutes in in of in research in UK. So yeah, my answer is is yes, there is a chance. Thank you, Aisha. That was a great question. Any further questions? We'll wait a couple of minutes if they have any more questions to ask. Okay, let me reinforce at this point that, uh, you know, I'm more than happy for you to contact me via email, okay? So if you have any further questions, um, please drop me a line. Um, if you'd like to have uh, a Teams meeting, um, you know, to discuss further, um, please let me know. Okay, I'm I'm of course available to 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 answer your questions via email or or, or in a, in another meeting. Okay, um, I guess Grace, if, you, if you don't have uh, any further questions, um, we can hint here. Okay, so it's it was a pleasure to have you on this session. And um, again, any further questions, please contact me. Okay, I Thank wish you. you a very good rest of the day. And uh, yeah, look forward to meet you next, next year, maybe. Thank you all Thank of you, you for your comments and questions. And thank you, Vita, for an excellent session. Have a great, great evening, everyone.